The South Florida High School on alert again after authorities found what they call a dangerous item on campus. Local 10's Hatzel Vela joins us live from Weston Hatzel. This is the second scare in less than a week there. That's right, Louie. And so given that this is one of the largest high schools in Broward County, this is truly concerning. And like you said, because it has happened twice in a week now. We don't know what happened. As parents pick up students before release time at Weston Cypress Bay High School, still a lot of questions as to what went down here. And it's frustrating for some parents. As a parent, if we can't just get basic information, it creates a lot more confusion and chaos. Her son inside the school while on lockdown, not aware of what was really happening. 8.30 this morning, the school's principal sent out a message that said school was under a secure protocol due to a dangerous item that was found, but that everyone was safe. Uh, there were shotgun shells, they said, and then they sent dogs into the gym. Multiple sources now tell Local 10 the student is right. A shotgun shell was found today. Sky 10 over the school on Tuesday when there was another lockdown and sources say the same thing. Another shotgun shell found. In fact, in a letter, the principal told the community a shotgun shell was discovered in a garbage can in the boys PE locker room. All male students who attended PE during fifth and sixth period were searched. No additional items of concern were found. Hey, he probably just did that to scare everyone, you know, maybe because whatever reason he had. Annoying for some of these students who were forced to stay in one classroom for hours. It's scary. It's sad. I'm hopeful that, that there's a solution. I don't know the answer. Certainly concerning for teachers as well. Their union president tells me there needs to be a plan in place. Random wanding. So we do have the wands. Um, we have um, a great number of security people that could be deployed over there and help in that mission you know, have book bags stay home for a little bit. And so, of course, the big question tonight is who is behind it all? And that's exactly what deputies are trying to figure out. For now, reporting live from Weston, I'm Hatsofella, Local 10 News. Thank God it was all clear.